A 99 Trail Light 7250 just came in here at Halet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, <clears throat> these are extremely lightweight pieces, and you can see right here that it has no slide out, which really helps keep the weight in check and the cost factor, actually. Slide outs are really nice to give you bunches of room. But uh, everything is a push and a pull. Um, not everybody needs a slide out, you know. Not everyone has a, a whole huge family that they want to sleep every weekend and they need all that room. Sometimes you just want a small little camper that a small vehicle can hook up to and take a little weekend trip now and then. This is perfect for that. Um, very, uh, you know, it's it's interesting because Trail Light from Mar Vision here, they haven't really changed their exterior design in a long time, but it's always looked cool and, and current. It never got really outdated looking. Um, the interior is a little more of a classic layout. I'll show you what I mean there. Now, one of the reasons I put these videos together is to show you the good and the bad. There is something here I want you to be aware of. It looks like either a seal around a door jam might have failed br briefly before it was addressed, or a door might have been left open in the rain. This is solid, but a little bit of water got under this chunk of linoleum, and that's why it's discolored. You know, it's not something I'm super happy about or anything like that, but you're going to spend money on this, and uh, it you deserve to know that it's there. Let me back up here so you can get a look at the living room. Uh, this has the classic overhead cabinet converts into a bunk mechanism, and unfortunately with only one hand, I can't really show you that while we're standing here. But, uh, you know, just to, so that you know if you need an extra sleeping space, uh, this does have one available. Obviously, the sofa will fold down into a sleeper. The table can move out of the way. Um, they have a, a single chair over here, and you could uh, uh, leave that there or move that out of the way, whatever works for you. There is TV hookups up here, so you can set yourself up a little TV corner, anything like that. In case you're curious because you don't normally see them, people say, well, what are these gold brackets? That's to hold the, the bunk when this door flips down is what it is. And in the meantime, if you don't need bunk space, this is still a functional cabinet. So it literally is a good dual purpose. I have seen some of those overhead bunks that had the illusion of cabinetry there, but and it really wasn't. So this one does work that way. Um, you know, big uh, double door, six cubic foot fridge, freezer. Nothing really um, outstanding in terms of... Uh, Bad things to talk about beyond the little, uh, oops, didn't latch the door shut, my fault. Um, beyond the little spot by the entry door that I told you about. Although, this hardware might be a little bit newer. Doesn't quite match, but it looks good. Um, moving to the back here. This is one of the reasons I put these videos together, too. Big storage closets like this. It's really hard in a still photo to try to give you an idea for the size and scale and depth of these. So let me open these up for you. <clears throat> Turn on my handy spotlight here so you can really see inside there. And you can see, this is why people always say, man, they just, they don't make campers with storage like my old one used to have anymore. Just a massive, giant closet. And that's actually what, slide outs are one of the reasons you cannot get big storage areas like that anymore. You know, when you take a 16 foot chunk of the wall and devote it to a slide out, you can't put a closet there. Um, rear queen bed, again, classic design. The beds are typically found more to the front nowadays. But again, everything, I mean, it's it, this is a little bit older, but it really has been well cared for. There's that little spot by the door I showed you, but even then, I, you know, you saw when I thumped on the floor, it's still solid, it's still weight-bearing, it doesn't bow under your weight. They did a really good job of addressing that quickly and uh, making sure that it was not going to be a real problem beyond anything cosmetic. Um, at the time of this filming, I have not gone through this. Being a 99, uh, you know, I would always, uh, if it were me and I was making a purchase, I would like to see how it works, if it works, what works, what doesn't before you take it home. Um, you know, and I have not done that at the time of this filming. So for more uh, detailed information, please give us a call. The number here is 800-256-5196. Halet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Happy camping, guys.